This is the 1993 Sterling football highlight film. It's dedicated to the seniors, the class of 94, 93 season, from the coaches. This group is extremely special to us. We've watched you grow from young freshmen into mature, outstanding young men. We wish you nothing but the best in your future. We hope that your memories here at Sterling will be fond. You'll come back and visit us. Even though the season didn't turn out this year the way we both had hoped, remember the last two seasons, you were 16-3-1 as a combined record. You went to the South Jersey Group 2 State Finals. You ranked number two as a defensive unit. And as individuals, we've accomplished great things, over 1,000-yard rushers and many other accolades. So the coach and staff would like to thank you for everything you've given us, and we'd like to dedicate and give you the following film. Hi, this is the SHS Sports Center. We're your host, Matt Brooks. And I'm Greg Butler. What you're about to see is 1993 Sterling Silver Knight football year end wrap up. With expectations sky high, Dave Pearson was assigned the job to kick Sterling into a season filled with silver line dreams. You know the day destroys the night. From the get-go, Sterling's punishing offense line took control and physically dominated the thundering herd. While on the other side of the ball, the big blue defense lie and wait to prey on Woodbury's mistakes. Two-headed battering ram, the combination of Joe Miller and John Fox humbled their opponents for 298 punishing yards. score, throwing 35, Woodbury 12. Not all the constellations were in the sky during the game at West Stafford. John Fox's 65-yard blast struck like a thief in the night. The Silver Knight defense, spearheaded by their defensive line play of Chris Winter and Ernest Stewart, kept the Eagle line at bay, while backfield Devin Carter turned in an all-around game with a sack and interception. was highlighted by Dave Santana's he knew like escape act and pass completion.
game ended with a score showing 24 was separate zero. The Green Wave must have felt like they were hit with the blue tidal wave as Sterling truly came to Rock Audubon's world. Tim Delaney, Jim Backison, and Dia Diamato punched holes in an overall match pit fight. The workhorse's efforts of the three bruisers allowed the offense to control the game. The defense hitman, Ryan Brickian, led a hit of the year. Both sides of the ball were dominated by the Silver Knights. And Andrew Ellis' shared statement that the best wear silver and blue. Final score, Sterling 51, Audubon 0. The Gators surely knew they had to sharpen their teeth and clasp down on for dear life. as the offense machine kept chugging along. Led by the crushing runs of fullback Joe Miller and fleet footed QB Dave Santana. They ran over Gateway like a Mack truck. Ryan Prince and Ryan Bricken had the head charge of the front line in defense attacks. All around defense of Derek Harway brought a few crocodile tears to Gateway fans. Final score, Sterling 16, Gateway 6. It was once said that practice makes perfect, but as Coach Gallagher and his staff knew, only perfect practice makes perfect. Enjoying football is one on winter days of lifting and spring evenings of running. Sterling football is not one on Saturdays, but at Monday Films 
extra sprints during the middle of the week and faith in the coaching staff's strategy on Fridays. Doing football is one on 95-degree August days when average players are taking a day off. 